parents struggle as back-to-school costs rise. Since when do kids need iPads at school? Kevin Rudd promised a laptop for every child, but these days tablets are the classroom device of choice, despite experts warning of the dangers of screen addiction, and parents are expected to stump up the cash. With the axing of the school kids bonus last year, low-income families are increasingly struggling to keep up with school costs, particularly as technology items become must-haves. Melbourne single mum Sarah Bond, 43, is experiencing the struggle firsthand. I think they should be using them, yes, because obviously technology is a big deal, she said. But with the cost of it, surely there's a better way. Maybe more shared devices or some way of dividing the costs. There should be a more affordable way. Even for working parents it's tough. Ms. Bond, whose six-year-old daughter is going into first grade, doesn't have to buy an iPad, yet. My daughter's going into grade one, you don't need to buy their device until grade three or four, she said. Ms. Bond is currently receiving Centrelink payments while studying community services and counseling. She decided to take out a no-interest loan to fund the purchase of a computer for the household for both her and her daughter to use. The $1,200 loan from Good Shepherd Microfinance is available to people on incomes of less than $45,000 and can be used for education expenses, including children's school expenses. All up her school costs will be about $300, then she needs new shoes and a few other items she's outgrown from last year, it'll probably scrape it together for about $150, she said. It seems like it was just Christmas and her birthday before that. That's what drew me to the loan. I know a few other single parents having the same sort of trouble. No interest loans are provided on a not-for-profit basis by banks and community organizations. The Cranbourne Information and Support Service, a typical community organization NILS provider that works with NAB, reports a 38% increase in the number of families needing assistance with back-to-school expenses up to last week, and that figure is expected to rise as the start of the school year approaches. It comes after Queensland mum of four Cindy Bogan's Facebook rant about spiraling costs for back-to-school items went viral last week when she posted a receipt from Big W for an eye-watering $578. This is a joke, she wrote. $578 just for the basics. That's not including the $300 for compulsory uniforms. That's not including $150 for compulsory footwear. That's not including $150 on sustainable backpacks to last more than one school term. And lastly, that's not including the $440 combined total for the school resource scheme, which seeing as I have had to provide the A4 paper and tissues, I am unsure what this scheme even covers anymore. Frank.chung at news.com.au